Wow. Clemson just lost to Duke 28 to 7. Uh, college football is back, guys. Uh, Duke is a pretty good team. You know, they had a lot of seniors coming back and a lot of experience on their team. So this was a tricky matchup, but a lot of people predicted, you know, that Clemson would win this matchup. Me personally, I didn't do a prediction on this game because I knew that Duke had a lot of experience on this team. And um, I didn't per se think Duke could actually beat them the way they beat them tonight. But, you know, I did think Duke was going to play them really, really hard. Come find out that Duke looked it better physically and everything. Uh, both teams was able to run the ball a little bit. I'm going to just read the stats off so you can uh, get an overall picture of what happened. Uh, but what really what cost this game for Clemson is a lot of turnovers. And um, I'm going to get into that in a few minutes. Now, Leonard, quarterback for uh, Duke, he only had 175 yard passing. Uh, he was 17 for 33. Uh, didn't throw a touchdown at all, but uh, he did get a rushing touchdown. He's He was actually the leading rusher for Duke. Uh, he had eight attempts for 98 yards rushing, and he was able to get that touchdown uh, in the game. Uh, Walters, he was the next. I mean, not Walters, but Waters. Uh, he was the second uh, leading rusher. He had 63 yards and a touchdown. And then they had more. Uh, Jacquez Moore. He had 43 yards and a uh, touchdown. So Duke was able to run the ball on Clemson. And um, Clemson is a very, very talented team on defense. But uh, Duke, for the most part, they just hung in there. Uh, the defense was playing really, really well for them. And um, they was able to get uh, victory. Uh, receiving-wise, um, Waters, Jordan Waters, he was able to get, you know, 46 yards receiving. But, you know, Duke didn't even really do anything receiving-wise. It was really everything, was, all the touchdowns came on the ground. But like I said, a veteran team. And teams like this are normally dangerous, you know, especially when you're going against a team like in Clemson. Uh, just brought in new offensive coordinator, uh, Garrett Riley. A lot of offseason talk was, you know, that Clemson was going to have an elite offense. But uh, it seemed like, you know, Clemson still has some, uh, soul searching to do far as you know uh, weapons for the Clemson Tigers. Uh, the only weapon that they had was Will Shipley, and um, he was able to get 114 yards on the ground, but uh, didn't record a touchdown. Uh, also, Phil Malfa, he had 65 yards rushing, and then uh, K. Clubney was their third rusher with 34. Um, the only touchdown that Clay Clubney threw for. Uh, he threw it to Will Shipley, and um, Will Shipley caught, you know, he was targeted nine times, but uh, had six receptions for 29 yards and uh, receiving touchdowns. So, like I said, outside of Will Shipley, who's Clemson, you know, uh, what other weapons do they have uh, besides Will Shipley? They got to find that quick. Uh, this is the first matchup. They got Florida State in a couple weeks. Uh, geez. I mean, if Clemson don't get it together by that time, man, uh, they could be facing another loss uh, against that Florida State team. Florida State looks legit. They look good on both sides of the ball, defense and offense. So, uh, Clemson better get it together. Uh, Kate Clemson did throw for 209 yards. Like I said, got that touchdown that he get, uh, threw to Will Shipley. Uh, he also threw an interception. But what caused, you know, Clemson, what well, didn't help Clemson win this game is all the turnovers. Every time they got, it seemed like, down there to the goal line, you know, they had mishaps, fumbles. Uh, they got to, you know, clean that up going forward. You can't fumble the ball in the red zone. That, that's, that's, I bet you that irks, you know, Dabo Sweeney more than anything. That, that, that would irk any head coach. You right there about to score and then you, you fumble the ball. And they did it twice, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, just a bad, bad day for Clemson. And you can't do that against a team like Duke. You know, like I said, a veteran team. Um, Duke got some more teams that they got to play in those schedule. We're going to see if Duke is really that good. But uh, they showed out tonight, you know. And um, they just put the dagger in, you know, Clemson Hart right there at the end and made it 28-7. to uh, Clemson fans, I, I know 
that you're hurting right now. You know, so much spec, uh, expectation for Garrett, Garrett Riley coming in. And um, to be honest, the way Garrett Riley performed in the national championship with TCU uh, kind of got you wondering, you know, they only scored seven points in that matchup against Georgia. And same thing here, only seven points against the Blue Devils. Garrett Riley's on a uh, turntable, like in my opinion. Uh, when, when is this team going to turn around offensively? That's been Clemson's problem the last couple of seasons. Just ever since Trevor Lawrence left, you know, the offense hasn't been uh, where it needs to be. Clemson plays really, really good defense, in my opinion. Uh, last year, their secondary wasn't as good, but uh, they consistently put out, you know, good defensive lines and stuff like that. So, uh, but they still got to clean up some things. Overall, Clemson was able to get 209 passing yards, uh, 213 rushing yards, and it was able to get 420, uh, 422 yards of total offense. But um, Duke was able to get 175 yard passing. It was able to get 199 rushing yards. Uh, Clemson got to clean that rush defense up. And total, Duke got 374 yards. So Clemson outgained Duke, but uh, Duke was just more physical um, and played pretty good defense. I mean, you got to give it to Duke's defense. You know, they held Clemson to nine, I mean, uh, seven points. That's really, really good. You know, K Club niggas, no slouch. Will Shipley's no slouch. But outside of, you know, Will Shipley, who's the uh, guy at wide receiver? Uh, Clemson hasn't really been that good at wide receiver the last couple of years, so uh, they got to find some targets, you know. But uh, Duke did a pretty good job. Held uh, Clemson scoreless in the first quarter, third and the fourth quarter. Uh, did a phenomenal job. And um, it's going to be interesting to see what Duke does going forward. Clemson got some things they got to uh, get fixed quick. Uh, like I said, you know, uh, it's not going to get any easier. And like I said, in a couple of weeks, they got to play Florida State early. So uh, definitely got to turn that around. And Duke beats number nine Clemson. And um, they haven't done it since. I can't, I can't remember what they said on uh, the TV. But uh, it's been a long time since Duke beat Clemson. And um, it was a historical win for them, you know, to be able to beat a ranked Clemson team. And, um. Like I said, that's the game, you know. Uh, what do you guys think? You know, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And once again, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college ball content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.